Howdy. Today I've decided to delve into a completely new experience, to try my hand in something I have yet to expose myself to. This is the first game among many that were recommended to me to try out, and I'm happy to oblige. After all, I don't want my skills to be calibrated only for a particular toolbox, I've found much more improvement when I explore around, or at the very least, it's a chance to see what else is out there. We have a very specific goal to achieve today. I want to build a house. That's it. To get the organic experience, I purchased no add-ons or money, so uh, we're starting fresh. So let's choose our starter house. Uh, I chose it blindly, purely because of the name, so let's hope it's good. We begin with our humble abode, one that'll suit our needs for the moment. Really curious what the interior looks like. It's not too bad, but I know what'll turn this place into a home. There we go. Now it's art. So yeah, this is what we have to work with. I'm not going to agree with some of the architectural choices, or quite frankly any of them, but it is a roof over our heads. Our character only has three moods that need our attention, which I take to reinforce that he is a humble man. A humble man that cooks insanely fast, but has to shower for an hour to be completely clean. It, they're character flaws. So now that our moods have been taken care of, now we need to join the working class of society and snag ourselves a job. There are a surprising number of them available, and while we could Google which ones are the best for pay, I chose the taxi driver job purely because I wanted an excuse to test out the driving system in the game, and they handle about it as you'd expect for a Roblox game. Fun is a sandbox kind of thing, but I, I, can't, I can't speak as to whether it's realistic or not, because I don't have a driver's license. I don't know if this is a normal occurrence for drivers or not. On the bright side, on our resurrection, we were turned into a car. Can you imagine getting passed on the road by this guy? But I gave up that life to join a beach event. Ten minutes on a beach for a few thousand? Who could protest? But let's take this moment to familiarize ourselves with some of the menus. I completed my first aspiration, meaning now I have points to spend. Let's check the sto- and they teleported me away from the beach, meaning I, I forfeited my cash prize. Should have seen that one coming. I suppose this is also a good excuse to familiarize ourselves with this new town we're in. It's rather expansive. In fact, it's rather easy to get lost. Not that I ever would. I also got to see my first mansion, uh, though we won't be building anything like that. It's nice to glance around though. It, it gives a very good impression of what's possible in terms of the building system, as well as picking up any tips and tricks along the way. So our initial goal will be to hit $100,000. I'm completely guessing, but that should be plenty for a small house for ourselves. But the taxi business isn't paying. We need to reallocate our career interests. I chose the trucker job, but largely because I was having a bit too much fun with the game's driving. Turns out, lorries can dominate any terrain you give it, and, and pay surprisingly well. I think we found our... Where, where is the depot? I'm lost again. And so we begin our routine. Driving back and forth to earn our pay. Then taking care of our moods. Then driving again. Then driving again. And now we're actually pretty good at handling it. I still think we could do better though, in terms of pay. This game has a couple jobs that are labeled higher paying. And while we are a humble man, I know what we must do. We must get an education. Though we need somebody on the inside. Someone who knows more than us. Someone who can lead us through the darkest of paths. I know the solution. Welcome to the family, Howdy. He will be our sage, the leader of our journey. Let's bring him to work. This is my life, Howdy. This is what you have to look forward to. A lifetime of work. It's not all bad, though. We received a random $10,000 donation from someone. Bless you, Howdy. Let's go to the bank and see what we can do with our money. And we happen to be here right when it's getting robbed. Great. Thankfully, Howdy's mere presence will protect us. And while we're here, we, I suppose we can invest some cash. Uh, Howdy and I missed the warning and thought this meant five in-game days. So I put all of our money in here and now we have to wait five real life days to get it back. So uh, back to square one. Let's try the pizza chef job. We spawned in the pizza oven. So uh, not the best first day. And then we'll just go back to the trucking job. And so begins our daily grind. Work. School, quenching the ever-growing list of Howdy's demands, work again, school, worshipping our patron Howdy. Surprisingly, our job doesn't really care if we're working or not, we're still getting paid bonuses while at home, which is cool, but I 
I don't think that it's intended to work like that. The modern life is one of toil, one of which routine is favored over spontaneity, wherein our larger personal goals are dissected infinitely smaller until nothing is done and everything is forgotten. Howdy scoffs in the face of comfort. To be balanced is to close your system, but it's the best we can do to provide for ourselves. The bonuses are actually kind of nuts once you get up this high. Maybe we won't need our money in the bank after all. Though it's all for nothing if we start building and discover we're short of the mark. Okay, it's been a few days. Now that we've got our cash investment back, let's work a little bit more to get up to the 200k mark. But we're going to be using a new strategy. Rather than driving back after delivering our trailer, I invoke Howdy's voodoo magic and instantly teleport back. A broken mechanic, sure, but I like money. And after school, I found another thing I completely missed. The inventory. So we don't have to be paying for food this entire time. For some reason, the grill is completely free. Or at least as far as I can tell. Then there's the skateboard, allowing for faster travel. Or at least it would, if it wasn't broken every time I tried to use it. But I have yet to show you the golden child. The scooter. I don't need a driver's license to know that this is the peak of realism. Why would anyone even need the boating game pass when they have this glorious invention? And while we were out in the big drink, I, I noticed that Howdy's birthday is rapidly approaching, and he's starting to develop his own look. There he is, even more rad of a kid than before. He is given the commandment to begin building, and so we shall. First off, we, we're going to completely empty out the plot. It, it does hurt, given that we've had so many cherished memories in there, but it was time. So immediately right off the bat, the building system is cluttered, rather unintuitive, and lacking a lot of the luxuries other games in this genre allow. But on the good side, everything is surprisingly cheap, I can build 4 stores without game passes, I can subtly move things without paying for money or game passes, and there's small details like a trim being defaultly on the gables. Though I don't think it's possible to choose whether or not you, you want them, and on top of that, they're not colorable, like at all. The most frustrating thing right now, since we don't have license to use the basic shapes, uh, there's no possible way for us to connect these two roofs, which, and which is nuts to me because this is such a simple shape, and even considering I chose a house design that I thought would be fair for the game. But all right, let's start over and try something even simpler and hope for the best. Again, there's there's things I really like that like the windows. They're they're so much more grounded and better scaled. They feel more realistic, but at the same time, their Y position is locked on the wall, which was a major problem for our second story. I found a relatively decent solution, though it looks rather ridiculous. Then there's the pillars and the fences, all sized with bizarre proportions. I ended up having to use a wall trim as the porch railing. Access to the color wheel in the base game was nice, though. Another cool thing, Free cam in the build mode allows you to freely explore your neighbor's house. Maybe a severe privacy violation, but it gives me a good idea of what's possible in this game. The most inexcusable element, for me personally, is the wall trim extends over the doors. But there's more cool things going on, like the gardening. You can get some insanely massive trees, along with some very detailed bushes, though I never really experimented too far with this aspect. Even so, now it's like we're in a forest though a lot of it's overshadowed by the paint mechanic, which I'm not even going to try to hide. It, it, it's my personal enemy. It only allows you to copy colors between duplicates of the exact same piece of furniture, some of which do not even have access to the same textures, like the wall trim and the pillars out front. Not even different cabinets of the same type are compatible. That That's like the biggest miss. But enough is possible to make a serviceable interior or at least enough to hold my attention and finish out the main room. And so I've reached my verdict. Here's the result. I'm overly left dissatisfied, uh, as the game was rather expansive up to this point, but it, it feels like improvement in the building mechanics is what the game really needs right now. That's what I feel like is one of the biggest draws for Bloxburg, is that the building system is so built out. Well, there's some broken elements, and in this game we spent less than $30,000 building that house, which feels incredibly cheap. We didn't penny pinch either, it's, it's just that some of the house isn't decorated. I'd venture a guess it wouldn't even be $50,000 to completely finish everything with great detail. But there's one thing I want to try before ending today, I want to fly my own personal plane, which we have enough for. 
I didn't accidentally buy it, no, no, no. But before getting to that, we have two things to get to. For one, Howdy is finally growing up. He immediately cleans up one mess, and then decides he's done enough and wanders around. Howdy has spoken. He has harnessed the same voodoo magic and, and positioned himself as the ultimate sage, proselytizing in the air. He is truly the best of all of us. We've also graduated, and there's only one way to celebrate. As we fly our plane over the town, it feels like we've conquered the game. For we began on the ground, and we've endured all that hard work to achieve our goals. All that toil to build our home. We are far from there now, and I hope those down there below me look up here and carry on with their own goals. Knowing the ground is not all there is. Overall, this game was a pretty fun romp until I got to the building side of it. I think I expected too much, having not paid for anything, but it isn't all that bad. It seems rather competent for more modern style homes and chateaus, which is an odd combination, but un understandable if you know the building system. But any simple craftsman farmhouse or cottage style house, so very simple houses are largely left behind, as it requires you to have a game pass in order to mimic details that are fundamental to them. That isn't to say games like Bloxburg are perfect idols either, but for how simple the system is here, and for all of its flaws, there is still a decent amount possible. Don't let that deter you from how broken this game is though. I've, I've fallen through the map so many times, fallen underneath things, there, there's all these pop-ups and screen clutter, and so many of the GUIs are broken, animations break and stick to your character, and worst of all, if you have even a slightly bad internet connection, the game will struggle like no other. A lot of the time loading buildings right in front of you or not loading collision in time. Some of these issues have no checks in place that would easily break you out of them. So you will have to leave and rejoin the game, which is frustrating in its own right. I get that the game isn't finished, but it's frustrating nonetheless. But yeah, this was my journey with this game. If you made it this far, I appreciate it immensely. Sorry about the runtime for this video, I, I didn't expect to cover the entire game, but I really did have fun with it, and I wanted to showcase that as well. But yeah, with that, see you later.